Welcome to this Windows channel and this is a quick fix uh, for a little problem that there's a growing amount of people that are actually reporting this. Following the cumulative update uh, KB 320 that was issued last Friday, uh, Thursday or Friday, December 8th, 9th, uh, there was a uh, cumulative update that, you know, simply uh, upgraded all sorts of uh, little things, updated the Windows operating system. But, um, a growing number of people are saying, hey, I got no internet after that. And it affects both people on Wi-Fi and Ethernet cable plugged in. So whatever connection you have, you just don't have internet. It says connected, but it says no internet. Now, I have uh, several Windows 10 devices. One of them was affected by this flaw, and I did lose my connectivity, uh, and it's my 8-inch tablet. So if you are a victim of this problem, it's extremely easy to fix. I've applied what Microsoft has said to apply and it works great. It did work on my tablet. So remember, this is for no internet after that cumulative update. It doesn't address any issues of no internet for other types of problems. If you click thumbs down because it doesn't work for you because you didn't look that it's for this fix, you're an idiot. Now, let's go. What this fixes, basically, you go to the start menu. There you will go into the power button. Click restart. Very important. Don't shut down and then click the button to restart. That doesn't work. You have to click the restart button in the power settings. Wait until the computer restarts and you'll see that your internet connectivity is back. For some reason, uh, it is simply that Windows 10 can't fetch the IP address from your router or mo modem uh, and it just gets stuck there with a invalid IP that doesn't work for internet connectivity. When you restart it actually kind of resets this and it enables Windows to get that IP address. For some reason that's kind of interesting it also doesn't work when you uh, shut down you have to really restart but don't worry, you don't have to do that all the time. Once you've done this once, after that, everything will be back to normal. Uh, so you won't have to do it again. It's really just temporary. But if you click the restart, you'll see that it's back to normal. Now, um, Microsoft is, of course, investigating what's happening. Um, so I would guess that maybe they'll issue some kind of fix or something eventually. But... Um, for the time being, that little tip works uh, great. Uh, it worked for me anyways. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us thumbs up and thank you for watching.